In a bid to address the long-standing issue of an unfinished road connecting Kawale Katuna Road through Rushoroza Hill to St. Paul Seminary Rushoroza, the Kawale Dosis Catholics have threatened to launch a fundraising campaign. <laughs> Frustrated with the government's failure to complete the road in the past three years, the Catholic community hopes to take matters into their own hands. The Member of Parliament for Kabal Municipality, Honor Dr. Nicholas Kamara, while speaking at the ordination ceremony of ordination of priests at Shushoroza Cathedral Grounds on Sunday, discussed that the Kabal Diocese may consider organizing a fundraising initiative to construct the road. <laughs> The project has been plagued by delays and mismanagement, leaving the local community extrapolated. Despite occasional appearances of graders brought by the contractor during events at Rishoroza Cathedral, progress remains stagnant once the functions conclude. Multiplex Construction Company Limited has failed to complete the construction works at Rishoroza, Wishekwire and Buankosa Roads. The construction company, which was awarded a 21.7 billion shillings contract in May 2021, is responsible for upgrading the 0.76 kilometers of Bwankosa Road, 0.34 kilometers of Wishekwe Road, and 2.49 kilometers of Rushoroza Road. The road project falls under the Uganda Support to Municipal Infrastructure Development Initiative, aimed at improving the infrastructure of municipalities across the country. Speaking on behalf of the Kabale Catholic Diocese, the head of Light Odo Tumukwasiwe expressed their disappointment with the contractor's lack of commitment. The contractor has had their contract renewed three times without delivering the expected results, leaving the community disillusioned. <laughs> Uracumbachira, Mayor Santa Rubia Mdisha of Kabale Municipality acknowledged the constructor's and serious attitude towards the project. He emphasized that despite repeated contract extensions, the contractors failed to fulfill their obligations. Frustrated with the lack of progress, the Kabal Dosis Catholics are determined to take matters into their own hands and address the Lord's completion independently. <laughs> In response to the mounting dissatisfaction, Minister Chris Badiomusi, responsible for information, technology and national guidance, issued an apology on behalf of the government for the contractor's shortcomings. He vowed to engage with the appropriate authorities to explore the possibility of terminating the contractor's contract. I apologize on behalf of government that there has been a delay on the construction of this road. But the money is there. It says the Zogrukora Ziriho. Oinobu Nafu, Nogere, the contractor, 
au gouvernement y a rendu le okora orbutor. Kutoaika kapala, ni jakshita manabe na ba ministre, e yarani zeri pusu ba izi bomuli mo. Kabe hoku chizi inga nangu, tuwa jendera matika, gouvernement y a rendu contractor dijo, tu ya kuzesa, ituko tano ni direct procurement. Kale kura yomu ni zaati ya nafto mahulide Nwa yabi nama ni pre-qualified Government or on the Contract on the issue As the whole arumalizi The government aims to rectify the situation And ensure the completion of the Lord project The Kawal Dalsis Catholic's decision to launch a fertilizing campaign Showcases their determination to address the Lord's unfinished state Which has been neglected by the government with the support of the community, they aim to complete the project and improve the connectivity between the Susan headquarters and the Katuna Kabalimbara Highway. <laughs> wa contractor we shereka muhine wa kama wana ya rumo kama shana president na bandi wa choru kuchira as the government explores options to rectify the situation and potentially terminate the contractor's contract the Kabale Delsith Catholics remain hopeful that their fundraising efforts will bring much needed progress to the long awaited wrong construction a story by Jonah Namara Robert Nyamachi for Kigez TV